I want to show you how to create swatches now. Swatches live in the swatches panel and they contain little pictures that represent colors. To find out what these colors are in numerical values, all you have to do is click on a swatch like so and then you'll see it wind up in this forward swatch. Simply click on it and then you can look over here to find the information that you might want to pass on to someone else. So you can say that this particular brown is 140 red, 98 green, and 57 blue. But how about creating your own swatches? Well, I'm going to tear this panel off, as I normally do. And let's say that you want to work with someone across the country who is also working in ZBrush like I do, and they want to create something using the same colors that we have in this document. Well, it's going to be very difficult for them to guess what these colors are. So of course, if you're the art director and you're working with the art team, it's your job to help them know what to do. So I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool. Let me see if I can find that guy. There he is. And I'm going to click in a portion of the artwork like so. And as you see, that color shows up right here in my document. So I'll click on it and I can see exactly what it is. So if I need to send them numeric values, I can copy these down and send it to them. Or even easier, I can move my mouse with the eyedropper tool or any tool I have selected over into my swatches panel and notice that it turns into a paint bucket. I can click and then I'm given the color swatch name and I'll call this one pewter and I'll click OK. Then I'll grab my eyedropper which I already have selected and I'll grab some of the scarf color and I can do the same thing and I can give that one another color. So I can say scarf metal or whatever I want to call it. And I can continue on doing this and adding these swatches. I'll leave that one as it is. So what happens now is I can then go to my menu up here, the pop-up, and I can save this out. See this? Save swatches? I can save this to my desktop, for example, and call it Snowman Sculpture. And then I can email this to my friend who lives in California. He can open it up and when he goes to his Photoshop, he goes to load swatches and he then loads those swatches. Then what he can do to see those colors by name is you can go to the pop-up again and choose either small list or large list. Our custom colors will live on the bottom of this list. So we have pewter, scarf, and swatch. So if they're working on something, let's say they're drawing some artwork over here and they need to fill it with that pewter, they click on it in the swatches and then they can go ahead and fill that selected artwork with that color. So they can go ahead and go ahead and get my layers out here. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Let me create a new layer actually for this particular artwork and take it to the top of this list. And there we go. I filled it in with that color. This is a great technique to use, especially if you're working with artists who are working on characters that have licensed colors that have been approved by the art department so that if you're working on a character who has a particular blue for their pants, that everyone is on the same page and everyone is using the exact same swatches to fill that color on that character. Once again, don't forget, you can always save and load those swatches and then share them with other people.